Hi everyone. Welcome to this next yoga, 15 minute yoga class. Thanks to everyone who has viewed the other classes so far. I hope that you have benefited from them. And today's class, 15, 20 minutes, we're going to focus on twists. And twists are really good for the digestive system. You feel like you're kind of wringing out the organs of the body and then as you untwist all this fresh blood just flows in bringing loads of oxygenated blood to this area. Um, so for today's class blocks might be handy so we have used books in the first class so if you don't have blocks a uh, stack of books perfect and that's all you need um, even if you don't have them you know you'd still be able to get fine on fine without them and your yoga mat, roll it out, take a seat, comfortable seat. Um, Sukhasana is cross-legged seat. So crossing your shins, mid shin, and activate your feet. So press the little toe side of your feet down into the floor. And take a deep breath in, lengthen the sides of your body, roll your shoulders back. Close your eyes. You have arrived on your mat Allow yourself to settle. Take a nice deep, slow breath into the belly. Hold it there a moment. And let it go. Do that again. A nice deep, slow breath into the belly. Hold for a moment. And release. And count the breath. Breathe in for the count of four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. Breathe out, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath out, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath out. Four, three, two, one. Do another two rounds, just like that. And maybe you can lengthen to five, or maybe you have to go for a count of three or even two. See where what fits for you. After your second round, allow your breath to come back to its own natural pace. Notice how that breathing technique felt on your body, the effects of it on your body. And open your eyes. Bring your right hand to your left knee. Bring your left fingertips behind. Lengthen up. We're going to twist around towards the left side. Lengthen and twist from your belly, then your ribs. Look back towards the front of your mat. Feel the twist in your belly, feel it in your ribs, your shoulders. So when you feel that, then turn the head. Press down into your right sit bone and press your right sit bone back. So it's kind of like a counter twist in the lower body. Breathe here just as deeply as you did at the start. On an inhale, come back to centre and then bring your left hand to your right knee. Lengthen up and look forward. Twist from your belly, your ribs, your shoulders. And the last thing to turn is the head. So sometimes we turn our head into a twist and we haven't got the twist from the belly. Feel the twist in the belly, breathe into it, and then press down into your left sit bone. Press the left, left sit bone down and back. So that 
counter twist in the lower body. It just keeps keeps you grounded. Deep breath in and as you exhale, release. Bring your legs out in front. I just turn to the side. Activate your feet. Draw your toes back towards your body. Bend your right knee. Draw your knee in towards your body and then cross your right foot over your left leg. Lengthen, shoulders back and begin to twist. Again, round towards your right side. Twist from the belly, bring your right fingertips behind. Keep the length. Hug your left knee, or right knee in towards your chest and twist. Keep hugging that knee in as you twist. And again, remember the last thing to turn is the head. center straighten that leg bend your left knee the foot can actually stay on the inside of the leg or step it to the outer thigh hug your knee in find length keep the right leg active right foot active and begin to turn your belly and ribs around towards the left bringing your left fingertips behind keep that knee hugging in Twist from the belly, the ribs, shoulders, and finally the head turns. Keep activating the right foot. Breathe here. Come back to center. Bring, activate both feet. Bring your fingertips behind. Lift your head and chest and look up. Gentle back bend. Walk your hands forward, gentle forward fold here. You might need to bend your knees here, but keep the feet active. Keep hugging your legs in towards each other. Walk your hands in. Let's come to hands and knees. And if you're sitting up on a cushion or a blanket, move it off out to the side. Plant your hands. Let's catch and cow our spine a few times. Inhale, lift your head, lift your sit bones, look up and exhale and round your back. One more time. From here, tuck your toes under. Take a deep breath in, lengthen the sides of your body. Inner body bright, feel a kind of a lift and a widening from the inside out, shoulder blades on your back, toes tucked under, lift up and back, downward dog. Pedal out your feet. Bending your knees, lifting your sit bones high. Bend your knees, push from your heart down through your hands, push the floor away. Take a breath in and exhale. Come down to your knees. Bring your big toes together, your knees wide. Sit your hips down onto your heels here. Walk your hands back. Coming into a twist in this pose. Bring your left arm and thread it underneath your right. Palm facing up. Bring your shoulder towards the floor and look in underneath your right arm. You can walk your right arm forward. Maybe the crown, maybe your side of your head will come to the floor. Breathe here. Nice stretch in the back of the left shoulder. Inhale and come back up. And then thread your right arm in underneath your left to bring your head and shoulder down towards the floor. And if you can't get your head down, you have a blanket or a cushion, you can prop your head here. And breathe. Lift up through the left armpit and look in underneath your left arm. Release the pose. Come high up onto fingertips. Come to hands and knees. Plant your hands down. Tuck your toes under, lift up and back again, downward dog. Bent knee down dog. Lift your sit bones high. Take a breath in. Begin to straighten your legs any amount, moving your heels back and down. 
look forward between your hands and then step your right foot forward. You can come down to hands and knees to get that foot right up between your hands. So we don't want the foot back here, right up between the hands. Here might be a perfect place for your blocks or your stack of books. Press into your fingertips, hug your legs towards each other. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Keep the legs hugging in, like drawing your foot and knee towards each other. Take hold of your left wrist. We're gonna come into a, a nice side bend here. Lengthen the left side body and side bend over towards the right side. Keep the legs strong. Inhale, reach your fingertips back up, release that wrist, lengthen up, and then bring your left hand to your blocker to the floor. Begin to turn your belly and ribs around towards the right open twist. Reach your right fingertips behind. You can even look behind, feel that twist in your belly. You can stay here or on an inhale, lift up. Twisting from the belly, the ribs. Inhale, sweep the hands back in front. Exhale, release your hands and switch sides. Left foot forward. Take your time to set up your legs here. Um, back toes tucked under, legs are strong, hugging in. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. And now take hold of your right wrist. And from your hip to your armpit, lengthen the right side body. Keep the legs strong. Keep that strength as you side bend over towards your left. Breathe into your right side body. Well, that should feel really good. Getting into the sides, into the ribs. Can you hear the rain on the roof here? It's raining very heavy. Inhale and reach back up. Lengthen into your fingertips. Actually the perfect time to do yoga. It's raining outside. Bring your fingertips down to your block, your right fingertips, and lift your left arm up. Twist around towards the left. Look up. Open twist. Reach your left arm down. So you could stay here, feel a nice opening in the front body. Or on an inhale, coming up into um, more of a difficult twist. Twisting the belly, the ribs, looking back towards your left hand. Take a breath in, inhale, sweep back to centre, reach your arms up. Exhale, release your hands. Come back to hands and knees. Stretch your right leg out behind. Press into the, into the heel, engage your tummy, you can give a cough, <coughs> keep that engagement and lift your left leg up. Plank pose, press into your hands. Take a breath in, come down onto your belly. Knees, chest or chin is just an easy way to get down or chaturanga. Press into your hands, inhale up into cobra. Heart lifts, look up. And come back to hands and knees. From hands and knees, step your right foot forward between your hands, engage your legs. Inhale, reach your arms up. Come into a twist, bring your left hand to your outer right knee, reach your right arm behind. Keep the legs strong, don't allow the hips to, uh, or the knee to move. Keep that knee strong, press your knee into your hand, hand into your knee. You can stay here, this might be a good place for you to stay. or. Bring your left elbow to your outer knee. So left hand or left elbow. If you can get your left elbow, bring your palms together. Turn your heart towards your thumbs, lift your face. Bit of a deeper twist here. Breathe into it, feel into it. And maybe this is where you stay. This might be enough for your body. If you do want to go a little bit deeper into this twist and you have your blocks or your books, Bring your block in towards the baby toe side of your foot and bring your left fingertips to the block. Reach your right arm up. Keep pressing your elbow into your arm, your arm into your elbow. Find that resistance. Breathe here. If your fingertips are down the block, come back to palms together. If you're here, come back to um, our first open twist. And more of a closed twist, this one actually. And then exhale, release your hands. 
and switch sides. Take your time, set up your feet. Maybe you have your blocks. Inhale, reach your hands up. And the first twist, bring your right hand to your outer left knee. Twist your belly, your ribs, your shoulders, and reach your left arm back behind. Breathe into it. Really take notice of what suits your body the best. Maybe this is where you stay and where you benefit the most from the twist. All right, come back, ease out of it slightly, bring your right elbow to your outer knee, and then you're stacking your elbows, palms, pressing towards each other, turn your head and your chest towards your thumbs. Breathe into it, stay for a couple of breaths, And then maybe if you want to take step three is to bring your fingertips to the block. Maybe you can reach the ground. It's a lot deeper twist. Left arm reaches up. Legs stay strong. And if you're here, come back to your palms together. Elbows stacked. If you're here, Come back to your hand on your outer knee, we'll reach your left arm back. Inhale back to center, take a deep breath in as you reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to the blocks. Come back, hands and knees. Let's do a cat cow. Reach your right leg back, left leg back, plank pulse. Take a deep breath in and either knees, chest and chin or chaturanga down to your belly. Lengthen the front of your body, inhale up into cobra. Tuck your toes under, exhale downward dog. Last twist before we come back down. Step your feet in a little bit. This can be done on hands and knees. Press into your right hand. And we're gonna bring our left hand over to take hold of our left ankle, our left heel, left shin, wherever you can reach on your body. Push down into your right hand from your heart. Push down and turn your belly and ribs around, looking underneath your right arm. Down dog twist. It's a good one. Breathe into it. Take a deep breath in. Release the left hand. Press down into your left hand. And then take your right hand and then take hold of maybe your heel, your ankle, anywhere along your leg. Maybe you need to step your feet in a little bit closer and twist. Breathe. Push from your heart down through your left arm. Push the earth away. Keep that inner body bright. Release the hand. Come down to hands and knees. Child's pose. Sit your hips down, maybe make a pillow with your arms, relax your head. A few rounds of the breath here. back up to a seat. We finish today lying down on our back. Bring your legs out in front. And why does the mat? Come to lying down. Bring the palms of your hands one on top of the other. Shoulder blades on your back. Close your eyes. Feel the breath beneath your hands. Allow any tension in your body to melt away with each breath. Release, let go of any roles you play in life. We wear 
a lot of hats throughout our day, maybe work, at home, as a parent. Let that all go. And for just the next minute or so, focus on the inner you. Shed all the rest. Feel the sense of calm and peace that even a short yoga practice can bring. And where do you feel that sense of calm the most in your body? Maybe it's in your belly. Maybe in your heart space. And wherever it is, allow it to ripple out from the core of you, down through your legs and your arms, up through the crown of your head. Feel it ripple through your body. You can stay here as long as you want to. Bending your knees, roll to your right side and come up into a seat. Keep your eyes closed if you can. Bring your hands to your knees. And that ripple effect doesn't just stop with your body. It ripples and meets all the people around you. So when you bring 15 minutes, 20 minutes of time to yourself, be it yoga or whatever it is that you enjoy, that peace and calm that you receive at the end, that not only stops with you, but it ripples through all relationships in your life, in your work, in your home. So bring that feeling of peace and calm with you and allow it to continue rippling through. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. See you soon. Namaste.